Hey guys, what's going on? I'm in the Florida Keys, and this is one of the most beautiful places in the world. If you've never heard of the Florida Keys before, it's a group of thousands of islands, and there's a long stretch of highway that connects a bunch of them together. I've been here one other time in my life. I've been wanting to come back ever since. It's been years. I'm finally back here now, only for one day, so I'm trying to squeeze in all my ventures in like one day. And that's really difficult because a lot of my ventures involves food. It's hard to eat everything you want to eat in like a day, you know? It's really about two food items that you have have to have. One is the stone crab and the second is key lime pie. Stone crabs are on my food bucket list. And if you don't have a food bucket list, come on, you need a food bucket list. And hot pot better be on there. Stone crabs look like this, and you really only eat the claw. And the cool thing about stone crabs is that the claw, after you take it off, the crabs regrow it. Kind of like Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. So if you think about it, it's like a unlimited supply of crab claws. But crab season isn't all year round. So every time I've been in Miami, I was never here for crab season. So finally, I'm here, it's crab season, but for some reason, they didn't catch a lot of crabs this year. So the supply of stone crab claws has really declined because there are several places here that actually serves all you can eat stone crab claws. And you know me, I'm a buffet guy. I wanna go all you can eat. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to hit up any of those places. So I just settled for a huge order of them. <laughs> Here are my stone crab claws. Take a look at that. This is about a pound and a half. Take a look at these. These look like something that fought Godzilla. Look at this. Each claw is like the size of half of my head. Well, maybe not my head because I got a big head. But these are huge. These actually came from sea monsters. You gotta eat them really fresh. And the stone crab, you only really wanna eat the claw. I've seen these in Asian buffets where they serve up the whole crab to Asians because, you know, Asians will eat anything and everything. So, of course, they want the whole crab. But there's really not much meat in the body, really just the claws. And there's so much good meat in here. And to eat these, you really need mustard sauce. A crab claw is not complete without mustard sauce. So let's break one of these bad boys open. All right. Whoa, look at this, guys. Check out how massive that is. That's like one massive piece of crab meat right here. Look at that. I'm gonna give this bad boy a nice dip, nice swim in my mustard sauce, and let's give it a shot. I never had stone crab this big before, so let's see how it tastes. Wow, not even kidding guys. Usually I like to show you guys things that I've tried before that I know it's good. I know these things are good. I didn't know it was this good. This thing has a natural sweetness to it and with the mustard sauce, this is insane, people. It's got a nice kick to it. Combine that with the crab and the sweetness of the crab. This thing is so tender. Let me try this without the mustard. This might be one of the best crabs I ever had. The mustard sauce is so mustardy and nice. Is the perfect, perfect compliment to the stone crab. Oh, this is beyond, beyond good. Oh man, it's got a nice kick to it from the sauce. This is so fresh and unbelievable. How incredible was that? And this stuff is not cheap, people. This is not a cheap meal, and it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. This is so unbelievably fresh and sweet. Let's crack another bad boy open right here. This is so menacing. If this wasn't so delicious, it'd be the most menacing claw like ever. All right, here we go. I could eat about 30 to 40 of these. 30 to 40 of these, no joke. These are so unbelievably good. I love crabs and I thought before this, my favorite was king crab and nothing tasted better than king crab. This is so much better. This is now the best tasting crab. I anoint this the best tasting crab I've ever had. Just to let you guys know, I'm in Key Largo Fishery and this place, the mustard sauce and the crab, the crabs are massive. This mustard sauce is beyond insanely good. And this combination is like a symphony in my mouth. It's like a country music festival. I've had these small ones before, like little bitty ones about maybe the size of that. You can't compare. If you guys gonna get a stone crab, Get a stone crab. Get a colossal, massive stone crab. It's gonna taste much better than the little bitty ones. Also, what I kind of don't understand is that this crab season, there's like a shortage supply of uh, crab claws, but these things, like, you cut off the claw, 
and the crab still lives and regenerates the claw. So I don't understand where we're short of these. These should be like the most ample crab claws on the planet. What if it's us Asians we're responsible because we eat the whole crab instead of just a claw? We could be responsible for the demise of the entire stone crab population. So I finished all my claws and I was really sad. But then I was digging around in my massive pile of crab shells. Yeah, I didn't notice this baby before. It's a whole claw I didn't eat yet. That's like finding a $50 bill in your pants you didn't know you had. I do want to provide a PSA for you guys. When they crack the shells of these claws open, you gotta watch every mouth before you bite because if you bite it down to one of these shells, you're gonna know why they call these things stone crabs. Now for dessert, key lime pie. When you're in the Florida Keys, you've got to have a slice of key lime pie. And this is the area where it originated. My key lime pie, I got this one with whipped cream. You can get it with meringue or chocolate. I just want it with some simple whipped cream. Let's give this a try. This thing is so tart and delicious. Look at this. But I think I would have trouble eating this pie without the meringue with the whipped cream. You definitely need a sweet component to battle out the tartness of this pie. This thing is so tart. Even with the sweet whipped cream as I'm talking, my mouth is watering. I don't think I could have this every single day, but you've got to try this if you're ever around this area. All right, so in a matter of one day, I've crossed off two food items from my food bucket list. Just to update you guys, I came back for one more batch of stone crabs. I'm leaving today, so I need a you know one last taste before I probably won't be able to have this again for maybe who knows how many years. I got a whole yellow tail fried, and I got conch fritters. How good does that yellow tail look? Give this a nice touch of tartar sauce. That is unbelievable. The skin is crunchy. It's tasty. A spray of lemon juice some nice tartar sauce oh, that is some awesome fish right there I got some sriracha sauce so I'm dipping the fish in here to see how it tastes mm. who would have thought fish sriracha sauce awesome I'm having my second piece of key lime pie because I want to try pies from a couple of different locations just to compare how they are. The thing that's special about key lime pies are that they're made with key limes or limes from the Florida Keys and not the typical limes you see at the grocery market. So these limes are really little, little bitty limes. They're really tart. Unfortunately, those limes don't grow anymore in the Florida Keys because of all the hurricanes and those limes are really yellowish. That's why if you can see the pie's color is more yellow. If you get the pie typically, let's say in Iowa or something, the color is more neon green than just yellow also the key lime pie is very tart it's more tart than sweet so i guess if you really like those smarty candies you're gonna love the key lime pie let's give this a shot this is really good it's definitely more creamy than the other one I had. It's also less tart than the other one I had. The last one was so tart, I was basically puckering the whole time. I could barely talk. This one is more sweet, it's more creamy. This is probably more suitable for my taste buds. I think the one from yesterday was definitely more authentic. Still good either way. You know what they say here, key lime pies are the keys to happiness. Kind of true. I just became happier. All right, guys, that's it for my adventure here in Key West. I hope to be back very soon because I'm going to miss all the food I've been having. If you've never been here before, definitely put this place on your bucket list. Put all the food items I've had here on your food bucket list as well. Thanks for watching. See you later.